Hey, this is pharmacist Curtis Alexander. In this video, I'll be talking about doxycycline. Now, doxycycline is part of the tetracycline family of antibiotics, very commonly used. So we'll talk about dosing, talk about cautions, talk about side effects. And then at the end, I'm just going to give you my overall thoughts, including talking about an interaction that you need to know about. So hopping right into it. First of all, how does it work? Well, like a lot of antibiotics, bacteria need to synthesize proteins to replicate and stay alive. The tetracyclines, doxycycline in particular, blocks that step. Now, as far as dosage, what we normally see is you can start out lower than this. It depends on the, what they're using it for, but normally we see 100 to 200 milligrams a day you can do that in a single dose or divide it into two doses. That's what we most commonly see. Now some good questions you'll get is what about food? What about alcohol? Now what we see with food is normally you're going to recommend that doxycycline be taken one hour before a meal or two hours after because food can actually decrease the absorption and it can decrease it by upwards of 20%. But if you get somebody who has some stomach upset which can be a side effect of doxycycline, you can normally tell those folks, yeah, you can take it with some food, just know that they're not gonna get the blood levels they would if they were taking it one hour before or two hours after a meal. We're gonna talk about calcium in a second. Uh, as far as alcohol, it doesn't technically have any sort of effect or interaction with doxycycline, but if you have an infection and you need an antibiotic, chances are you shouldn't be drinking alcohol at that point in time. But if somebody wants to have a glass of wine with doxycycline, likely not gonna be a big deal, but talk to your doctor about that. All right, now let's get into some of the side effects. We're gonna talk about, and these are kind of more warnings. Uh, they're a little more rare, but they're kind of warnings, some stuff you need to be aware of, and then we'll get into some, some of the more common things. Okay, and you can see these with all the tetracycline antibiotics. First, we have bone growth suppression. All right, now, one of the things that we're gonna start hitting on is doxycycline and the tetracyclines in general can interact with calcium, okay? Uh, they can essentially bind calcium, which obviously for bone growth is not good. Now, I wanna point out, this is mainly a concern in uh, preemies, kids, you know, very young, patients. It's a concern in adults, not a huge concern. This one is in everybody, which is esophageal injury. What that means, you need to know that when you take doxycycline, you need to be sitting upright and you need to take it with plenty of water and you don't want to lie down for a half hour because the, the pH, the acidity, doxycycline is very acidic. Okay, so if you are to take it and immediately lie down, or not take it with a lot of water, it can hurt your esophagus. Photosensitivity, which just basically means you take doxycycline, you can go out into the sun and essentially get burnt. You know, you're gonna have bad sunburn, be very sensitive to the light. So that's something to be aware of. I always caution folks when they're taking these, just be careful when you go outside. Uh, and then finally, again, kind of relating back to the earlier ones, dental skin and nail discoloration, okay? Um, again, we have some interactions with calcium and these sort of things. The people that we worry about this most, again, are kids. If you're taking a higher dose or you've been using doxycycline for long-term use, uh, we can see this in acne and some other conditions, okay? Now let's get into some of the more common side effects that we'll see. These are great warnings to keep in mind. Um, like I mentioned earlier, doxycycline, the class in general, but doxycycline can cause some stomach upset. That includes diarrhea at roughly 5% of folks, upper abdominal pain around 2%, increase in lactate dehydrogenase. Lactate dehydrogenase is basically an enzyme that helps you produce more energy, more ATP in your body. Uh, so it actually increases that, which is kind of interesting. It doesn't happen a lot, but you can see that. And then we have some more of this dry mouth, abdominal distension, very, very rare, but it can happen. But again, I want to kind of go back to stomach side effects being kind of the biggest, most common side effect that we see in those people. Again, can take it with food, just know that 
uh, their blood levels of doxycycline aren't going to be what they normally would. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk about is calcium, okay? A lot of people take things like Tums for, um, you know, acid reflux, those sorts of things. You want to be very aware of that when you're taking doxycycline because it can bind calcium. Um, the thing to point out, it happens with all the TCN is tetracyclines. Doxycycline, again, is, is a tetracycline antibiotic. All the tetracyclines can do it. The good thing about doxycycline is out of all the tetracyclines, doxy does it the least. It binds calcium with the least affinity, but it can still happen. So you don't want to take it with milk. You want to be very careful about taking it with antacids, those sorts of things. You just need to be aware that there is a calcium doxycycline, essentially an interaction, okay? Um, let me know in the comments, have you taken doxycycline? Was it helpful? Did you have issues with it? It helps me, it helps other people who watch the video. And speaking of being helpful, uh, I hope the video was, and until the next one, thank you.